guys, it's Stephanie from Site Gorilla, and today we're going to go over how to make a standard page layout on a WordPress page. So what we're going to do is go to Pages, and we're going to add new. And what we're going to do is create this page with a page title, three headers, three paragraphs, and a couple of uh, photo-wrapped word blocks. So we're going to add a title here. We're going to call this standard layout example. Okay, and then we're going to start by choosing our first block. Our first block, I'm going to choose the heading. If you can't find it, just type heading. There's our heading. Now what you'll need to do is click off the block and make another plus button. And I'm going to upload an image. Let's find a nice image. Great. So we have an image. I'm going to make it smaller because I'm going to word wrap it. I don't need a caption. So I'm going to hover below it. It's a little tricky. And uh, I'm going to write a paragraph block. Now I am going to just put some dummy text in there called Laura Maxim. Copy it. And now to get this to wrap around this photo, I'm going to click on the photo and hit left. And that nicely wraps the text. Then I'm going to make a, another paragraph. It's not giving me a plus button, so what I'm going to do is just hover around until something gives me a plus button. And I'm going to make another heading. Now, since this didn't want to go in the right place, I'm going to take this. You can drag it. These little things let you drag, but I'm just going to move it to the right place. Hitting two, same thing. I'm going to add an image. I'm going to make it smaller. And I'm going to come down and add a paragraph block. Same thing. I'm going to paste the text. And I'm going to move this to the left to word wrap it. And this time, I'm going to make less text. So when I come to make my third heading, I'll make my heading here. I'm going to move it down. And what you'll notice is it's going to stick right there. I'll show you. All I did on a Mac is hit Command and click. On a PC, you hit the other mouse button to open up the window and open a new tab. So here we have standard layout. We have it nice and wrapped. Here we have it wrapped too. And then heading three is sticking here. So if you want that short of amount of text, where did this go? You're going to have to add a spacer. So we'll go down here, and we might have to add two spacers. We'll type spacer, and we'll then move this block down below the spacer. So we need to update and to look at what we did to see if that's what we wanted. See how it didn't move it just far, <clears throat> far enough. So we can go to the spacer, and the spacers do get wider. So we're just going to pull it wider. There we go. Now the heading went into the correct place. And I am going to 
add a nice little two picture column below here and type column. And here's my column. So I'm going to add a heading column one. And I'm going to add another heading column two. And then I'm going to add a paragraph block and drop some more ellipsum in. Same thing here. You have to be careful with where these plus buttons show up, but there we go. So this one needs to drop below that other heading. Now we have column one, column two. And we have some words, and I think I said I was going to add a picture, so that's pretty funny that I added text instead. But I'm going to try to pick up this whole column by just trying to get to the outer edge of it. It's really tricky. There it is. See if I can keep it. Oh, God. There we go. So now the whole column is below header two, and I forgot I said I was going to do uh, images, so I'm going to remove this block. And I will add another image block. And I'm just going to take from the media library since I have some pictures. There's one image. I'm going to delete this block. And add another one. Let's use the butterfly. And now we have a couple columns with headers, and you can put captions in. So let's just show you. One. Two. And update. Come update the page. And we have a pretty standard looking page using blocks. Hope that helped. Smash that like button if this helped you. Subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, don't let your website drive you bananas.